Hi friends, it's Dana here. One of my favorite holidays is coming up. It's called Arbor Day. And on Arbor Day, um, a lot of people go out and they plant a tree uh, in honor of all the beautiful trees out in the world and all they do for us. Well, I think it's equally as important to take care of your trees as well. So on Arbor Day, you might want to prune your trees or give them fertilizer or maybe even water them if they need it this spring. So um, the best way to take care of a tree is to know exactly what it needs. And so today I'm going to read you a story that talks about all sorts of different types of trees and what exactly they need. And maybe in here you can learn a little bit about what the trees in your neighborhood need. And you can go and celebrate Arbor Day by taking care of some trees yourself. All right, here we go. It's I Can Name 50 Trees Today. It's a Cat in the Hat's Learning Library book all about trees. It's by Bonnie Worth and illustrated by Estrides Ruiz and Joe Matthew. So here we go, friends. I'm the cat in the hat, and I want you to please take a few moments to look at the trees. If you pay, pay close attention, you might get to exclaim, there are 50 trees I bet I can name. A tree is a plant with a stem made of wood. Do you know what a stem is? A trunk, very good. Some trees grow to 10 or 20 feet high. Some grow till their tops scrape the clouds in the sky. A cypress in Mexico that we have found has a trunk more than 117 feet around. A tree in Australia the land that's down under, stands 492 feet tall. Oh my, what a wonder. The branches grow upward, the roots, they grow down. The branches and leaves are what we call the crown. Some crowns are like cones, like this cute little fella. Some crowns match the shape of my nifty umbrella. Some, like this willow, droop down to the ground. Some, like this apple tree, are nearly round. I'd say this white oak is as wide as it's tall, while this pine doesn't have low branches at all. Let's look at the roots. We will speak of them first. They hold the tree up. They help quench its thirst. They draw water up, and science has found. They even draw minerals out of the ground. Nearly 400 feet deep grow the roots of this fig. That's almost as deep as this oil drilling rig. The trunk and the branches, the leaves and the shoots bring water and minerals up from the roots. The leaves then pull off one tremendous feet. They whip up the food that the tree needs to eat. They mix water up with rays from the sun, add carbon dioxide, and when the leaf's done, it gives off the oxygen we need to survive. It's a gift from the trees that keeps us alive. Here's a fast grower. This will surely amaze ya. Over one inch each day, this gr tree grows in Malaysia. While way up in Canada, a four inch slowpoke is 155. I tell you no joke. Some leaves are so simple, one leaf to each stem, while others have leaflets growing on them. Some leaves grow on stems in these neat little pairs. Some others you'll find grow unpaired upon theirs. World leaves grow round, a tree's branch in a ring. Some leaves are sharp toothed, others smooth, that's the thing. Like your ears, some have lobes, which means that they are shaped a lot like your hand or a mitten or star. Bark does for a tree what your skin does for you, stops the weather, the bugs, and the germs getting through. The bark of the redwood you have to admire. It's two whole feet thick and protects it from fire. The bark of this tree is what has made it famous. Shag bark hickory is what this shaggy tree's name is. A neat trick a friend of mine just showed to me is to find out the age of a once living tree. 
A new ring is added with each living year. Let's count up the rings in this stump over here. A year that has rain leaves a ring that is thick. This thing ring means drought or our poor tree was sick. We've counted and we'll share our answer with you. It's 67. Did you find this was true? The oldest tree ever, and this one is fine, might be 4,700 years old, a bristlecone pine. There are all types of trees, but of course you knew that. One has needle-shaped leaves or scales that are flat. Its seeds come in pine cones, so let's be exact and say it's a conifer. Yes, that's a fact. Another type, broadleaf, you've probably seen, in the fall turning colors and losing its green. The seeds from these trees come in nuts that are hard or in soft or dry fruits like in Sally's backyard. And then there are palms, they grow where it's warm, with leaves like a feather or a fan-like in form. The world's largest seed, from the coco de mer, weighs 50 whole pounds, things you'd better beware. <laughs> Forget not the lily trees, lovely to see, like this king of the desert, the Joshua tree. Have you ever got burned? Then you had better go get the leaf of the yucca that we call aloe. The tree fern is oldest, and what is more, it doesn't have seeds, instead it has spores. The tree fern fares better in much warmer weather. This tree's rather short, with a leaf like a feather. The cycad is old, and for what it is worth, there were cycads when dinosaurs once roamed the earth. It looks like a palm, but a palm it is not. How long is its cone? Three feet long. That's a lot. The tree called the ginkgo we've saved for the last. The first one grew 250 million years in the past. One thing that I think you should know about ginkgo, its fruit doesn't smell good. In fact, it smells stinko. <laughs> Get yourself a blank book to press leaves that you find. Glue them onto the pages, your mother won't mind. Note the tree's bark and the shape of the crown. Note the shape of the leaves and then write it all down. Take a look at this book or get a tree guide. Match up your leaves to the pictures inside. Write down the tree names and learn them by heart. This book contains 50 and that's a great start. Knowing trees names, my dear miss and dear mister, is like knowing the name of your brother or sister. We can't have enough of these wonderful trees. So when you see bare spots, go plant a tree, please. <laughs> All right, friends, that was I Can Name 50 Trees. And if you grab this for yourself, they have some fun definitions in here and other books that you can read all about trees. I hope you have a great Arbor Day and you go find a tree you can take care of yourself. Thanks, friends. Bye.